our primary form, weather changes is our topic for first term, but I believe that they have been teaching us from primary one, primary two, primary three about weather. Still, the definition remains the same. My first question What is weather? My first question the question says, What is weather? My first question is, what is weather? As my first question, my first question was, what is weather? Do you know the meaning of the term weather? Simply we say, weather is the state of atmosphere. Weather is the state of the atmosphere at a given time and place. We shall say primary four members, Weather is the state. Weather is the state of the atmosphere. Weather is the state of the atmosphere at a given time. At a given time and place. At a given time and place. This is what we call weather. So weather in science is simply mean the state of atmosphere. Uh, weather is the state of the atmosphere at a given time and place. That's what our teachers in primary three, primary two taught us about weather. Or if you want to say as it's the condition of the atmosphere, you can say it's the state or the condition of the atmosphere at a given time and place. Then from there, we can look at factors of weather. We call them factors or elements of weather. What should I look at? Let us look at elements of weather. Elements of weather. Sometimes we call them factors of weather or we call them the elements of weather. So the elements of weather, these are the ones that bring the conditions or that bring the types of weather. What of the element of weather will give me? Everyone's going to say rainfall. One element of weather is what we call rainfall as the first. Another one element of weather is wind movements. Another element of weather is wind movement, or which we call the wind, but sometimes we say wind movements as the element of weather. Then another element of weather, when you look at the ones I have and the ones your teachers uh, gave you, but in primary form I'm giving you, we have what we call sunshine. We have uh, what we call sunshine as the element of weather. Another element of weather, we have what we call cloudy cover as the element of weather. Another element of weather, of weather is what we call humidity. When I talk about humidity, I simply mean the amount of water in the atmosphere. There is amount of water in the atmosphere is what we call the humidity. But humidity is also an element of weather or a factor of weather. Then we have what we call temperature. Temperature is also another element of weather. Temperature. When they ask you simply what temperature means, temperature is the degree of hotness, of coldness of a place. Temperature is measured in degrees and the instrument here in primary theory, they know that the instrument for measuring temperature is what we call the thermometer, but still in primary four, the instrument is the thermometer. They just teach us this topic in different classes. I hope that we are the same. And I hope that this lesson is so interesting. You have as answers you want to share with me. Let us share very many things here. Other elements of weather, but for this time, let us look at the main elements of weather. One, rainfall, we have wind movements, sunshine, cloud cover, humidity, temperature, and very many others. So, but why am I just telling myself on this one? These are the major ones. That's why I'm putting myself on those ones. Primary four, this is our topic, and I know we are ready to do.
do the things together, me and you. Let us look at types of weather. We have looked at the elements of weather. Now let us look at types of weather. Let us look at types of weather. The elements are done. Now we are looking at the types of weather. One of the major types of weather, however, they are that they talk about foggy one, but we have what we call the, the sunny weather. One, we have sunny weather. Uh, we have sunny weather as the element of weather. We have sunny weather. Another type of weather, we have cloudy weather. We have cloudy weather. Another type of weather, we have rainy weather. Another type of weather, we have rainy weather. Then, apart from the sunny weather, the cloudy weather, the rainy weather, we have what we call the windy weather, prime and four. We have what we call the windy. We have what we call the windy weather. These are the types of weather. There are mainly four types of weather. But just know, don't forget to say that weather is the state of the atmosphere at a given time and place. And when they ask us the elements of weather, we shall say rainfall. We talk about the wind movement, the sunshine, cloudy cover, humidity, temperature. Then the types of weather, primal fire, talking to you young boys who are at home. There is what we call the sunny weather, the cloudy weather, the rainy weather, the windy weather, my lovely students. These are types and these are elements. Sometimes we confuse the elements or the factors of weather with the types of weather or the conditions of weather. These are types and these are elements. Now, after knowing uh, uh, what we call the types, uh, what is weather, elements of weather, types of weather. Now, after knowing this one, in at the weather station, there is what we call the uh, elements of weather, and there's what we call the weather instruments. Hey, you're joking. There is what we call the weather instruments. There is what we call the weather instruments. I talk about weather instruments, they are very many. And someone will ask you what are weather instruments. You can easily say these are instruments used to measure different elements of weather. Or these are tools. These are tools. These are tools. Broadly still you can call them instruments. These are tools, bracket instruments used to measure. These are tools or instruments used to measure different elements of weather. Used to measure different elements, different elements of weather. So the instruments or the tools used to measure the different elements of weather is what we call the elements. It's what we call the weather instruments. They are used to measure this one. For example, rainfall received. Here we use uh, an example or we use a tool which we call the rain gauge. A rain gauge is used to measure the amount of the rainfall received. Then the wind movements are the different movements of wind 
When you look at the speed of wind, we use an anemometer. The direction of wind, we use the wind vane. The strength of wind, we use the wind sock. Uh, excuse me, this wind movements has got different weather instruments. Then the sunshine, we use sunshine recorder. Is that used to measure the intensity of sunshine received? Then humidity, the amount of water vapor, the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere, we use hygrometer. This is what we call the hydrometer. This is hygrometer and hydrometer. So examples of weather instruments, they are very many. Let us go to the examples here. Examples of weather Instruments. Examples of weather instruments. Examples of weather instruments. When you come under examples number one, I talked about rain away. Rain it. But because you don't know how to pronounce and how to spell the word, you find sometimes make it simple for you by pronouncing it in another way. Eh? But just, you know, spell the rain gauge. Then another uh, weather instrument is called sunshine recorder. Sunshine recorder. For measuring the intensity of sunshine, there is what we call hygrometer. Is also a weather instrument. Another instrument, when I look on the side, there's what we call the thermometer. There's what we call thermometers. There's what we call thermometers. There are different thermometers for measuring different, uh, measuring temperature in different objects and places that on the holder thermometers. Another weather instrument we have anemometer. Another weather instrument is called anemometer. Other weather instruments we have what we call it a windsock. Windsock. Then another one is what we call wind vane. Uh, it's called wind vane. Then there is what we call hydrometer. Hydrometer for measuring the densities of liquids. We use the hydrometer. So when you look at the weather instruments, there are very many weather instruments at the weather station. And after all, we have wind vane, we have wind soap, we have barometer also for measuring the air pressure. We have barometer, air pressure is also an element of weather. So when you look at these ones, are the examples. These are the examples of the weather instruments. So when I come back another time, we are going to look at one by one. When you look at the sunny weather, I told you to ask you activities current under sunny weather here is drying of harvested crops. And you look at rainy weather is when we plant our crops, but winter weather is when we winnow our crops. Now come here and say, what is weather say? Weather is the state of the atmosphere at a given time and place. Then you have elements of weather primary for we have rainfall, wind movements, sunshine, cloud cover, humidity, temperature. Come here, types of weather. They are different. We have sunny weather, cloud weather, rain weather, wind weather. Weather instruments. What are weather instruments? We, we easily or we simply say these are tools used to measure different elements of weather, like here. Examples of weather instruments, rain gauge, sunshine recorder, hygrometer, thermometers, anemometer, wind sun, wind vane, hygrometer, barometer. 
So this is hygrometer, but the other one is hydrometer. So we have hygrometer and hydrometer. When they come back in the next lesson, just wait for me, then we look at each each weather instrument we we'll draw it we we'll see what how does a rain gauge look like where do we put the rain gauge where do we place it and what does the rain gauge do then we shall look at the sunshine recorder the one we use to measure the intensity of sunshine we shall have the diagrams and we draw we shall look at the hygrometer we shall look at the thermometer the anemometer we shall come for winds of wind with the hygrometer just keep on subscribing for these videos for your own benefit i know we are home for quarantine but the more you subscribe the videos primary for members you want for you want Regret when you begin or when you come back to school, you will come when you survive. Visit the Facebook account and visit our websites at Light Academy. You know, www.lightacademy. Then you check. You go to YouTube. When you go to YouTube, I just say students of Light Academy and other students out. Go in YouTube. Just put or search for teacher Wafula Joseph. When the teacher Wafula Joseph, all the sales lessons will come. Like teacher Wafula Joseph on your account page, on your page, or in your YouTube. You just go YouTube search for teacher Wafula Joseph. All the lessons of science, they are there on the, in or on YouTube. Just teacher Wafula Joseph. I love you all. I say, big up. Whoever is watching me, I love you, people, students. Thank you. Bye bye.